Welcome to day three. What is reality? Is it what we can experience with our senses? Or is it something else, something deeper? Consider for a moment. Where was the chair you were sitting on before it was created? Where was your newborn before she came into this world? Just because we cannot see or touch something does not mean it doesn't exist. It simply means we can't experience it in our three-dimensional world at this moment. The same holds true for whatever you consider abundance, limitless love, unbounded joy, optimal health, or greater material possessions. Just because you are not experiencing what you desire in this moment doesn't mean it can't exist for you. We live our lives primarily on the physical plane, which includes everything that has form or substance, what we commonly refer to as matter. Some look at this physical realm and see lack. Others see abundance. Some feel abundant. Others feel limited based on certain messages they may have received in the past. While we believe matter to be reality, we often view reality as changeless. Yet matter and form continually change. So, what then is reality? As we exist in the physical plane, we also live at the level of the mind. The mind is that part of us that perceives, thinks, reasons, and evaluates. The mind is potential energy and because of this we can change our physical world simply by changing our thoughts and beliefs. Beyond the mind, at the deepest level of consciousness, resides the spirit. This is the part of us that is eternal, unchanging, and imbued with pure, unlimited potential. Tapping into this potential is what enables us to manifest miracles. The world out there may appear to be objective, but in fact, it is subjective, a construct of our own interpretations. Our words, thoughts and beliefs create specific results in the physical world. Therefore, abundance does not spring from an external source, rather it comes from within, from thought, intention, attention and expectation. You, as a powerful creative being, can change your perceptions, change your mind, and change your reality by transforming your thoughts and expectations. You can begin to speak and understand nature's language and harness its infinite flow of energy, information, and intelligence to enjoy the great bounty of spirit that is your birthright.
As we prepare for meditation, let's contemplate today's centering thought. Today, I focus on what I want to attract into my life. Today, I focus on what I want to attract into my life. Now let's begin. Please find a comfortable position, placing your hands lightly in your lap and closing your eyes. In this moment, go within to that place of inner quiet where we experience our connection to the higher self. Let go of all thoughts and begin to observe the inflow and outflow of your breath. With each inhalation and exhalation, allow yourself to become more relaxed, more comfortable, more at peace. Gently introduce today's Sanskrit mantra, repeating it mentally and allowing it to flow with effortless ease. Sat Chit Ananda Sat Chit Ananda Existence Consciousness Bliss Sat Chit Ananda Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, sensations in your body, or noises in the environment, simply return your attention to mentally repeating the mantra. Sat Chit Ananda Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time, and at the end, you'll hear me ring a soft bell to indicate it's time to release the mantra. Sat Chit Ananda Sat Chit Ananda Just mentally.
it's time to release the mantra. Please bring your awareness back into your body. Take a moment to rest, inhaling and exhaling slowly and deeply. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, carry the sense of abundance with you, reminding yourself of today's centering thought. Today, I focus on what I want to attract into my life. Today, I focus on what I want to attract into my life. Today, I focus on what I want to attract into my life. Namaste.